In this episode, we're going to take a look at a file upload filter bypass that can lead to an RCE in the Frogslore server management panel. Hello world, I'm Zanit, your friendly neighborhood hacker and today's host of CVE Deep Dive. This vulnerability will allow any authenticated user to upload arbitrary files and thus run arbitrary commands on any server that has the Frogslore server management engine installed. And the worst part, these commands are executed as root. But first of all, what even is the Frogslore server management panel? As the name may imply, the Frogslore server management panel is not just a very long name, it's a management panel for servers. There's not really much to say about it. It comes with a bunch of features like true multi-stack, advanced SSL, let's encrypt, other features like MySQL management, file upload and PHP configuration. And in this episode, we're going to take a deeper look at the file upload feature. But how bad will this attack be? Let's calculate a quick estimate of a CVSS with our formula right here. So first of all, this attack is possible via the network. The attack complexity is high because as you will see, it includes a couple of steps. It's not just an easy out of the mill exploit that works. The privilege that are required are that of any user. So we're gonna go with a low. There is no user interaction required to let this exploit trigger or run. And I would say the scope is changed since this attack impacts the underlying server. Now let's take a look at the impact real quick so that we can estimate the base score. So since the user has root access on the host, this means that the confidentiality impact, the integrity impact and the availability impact are all rated as high. And this gives us a CVSS of eight and a half, which is high. But how does this exploit work? This exploit is performed in two stages. The first stage is to obtain remote code execution as www data, the user running the web management interface. And the second step is to elevate the privilege on the machine itself to become root. So let's take a look at the first phase. Now the problem here is that the Frogslore server management panel software allows basically every user to upload any kind of file. Now there is a way to restrict the users to upload any kind of things they want, which is to solve it via the Apache virtual host configuration. However, no allow override directive is used in the virtual host configuration. So this essentially means that an attacker can upload a .htaccess file to the server and configure it however they like to do it. So the attacker can now bypass all the security features set in place by the security administrator or server administrator, upload a web shell, navigate to that web shell and perform some commands that result in a reverse shell. Once they got that reverse shell, they're on the host and the first stage is completed. So it's time to go on to the next stage, elevating the privilege to root. Now this stage is a bit more complicated since the attackers need to get access to the MySQL database. However, the file is stored in var www.frogslore slash lib slash user data inc .php file where you can find it in clear text. And once they got access to the database, they can change all the configuration that they like, including the cron jobs that are run whenever the server is reloaded. The file that is run whenever the server is reloaded is stored in the table panel settings with the name cron d reload. So all the attacker need to do is change this value. Once they've changed that and uploaded the file or edited the file on the host itself, they just need to restart the Frogslore server management part of the server and the commands that they have stored will be executed via this cron d as root. I hope you enjoyed it so far. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. And if you're interested in more RCE exploits, check out this CVE deep dive episode over here.